Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Over 50 guys taking uh, center stage this week. They're down in Virginia, first of three playoff events in the race for the Charles Schwab Cup. Steve Flesch, the left-hander with four wins on the regular tour, won on the PGA Tour champions, and that came three years ago, with a two-shot lead on the incredible Bernhard Langer, and as well, Stephen Alker, who's a rookie on that tour. Langer, two shots back, he's 64 years old. Rich Lerner with Brandel Chambly. If he wins tomorrow, he's the oldest to have ever won on that tour. How about that? <laughs> you know, there are a lot of ways to, to underscore just how remarkable Bernard Langer is, but he has been a professional golfer long enough for more than 20% of the presidents in the history of the United States. So you think about that. He turned pro in 1972 by my count. That's 10 presidents uh, <laughs> that he has been a professional golfer while they have been in office. Um, go another way. He was the very first player to be number one in the world when the inaugural when the world rankings were initiated back in 1986 he's still at it i'll go one more there are no cuts on pga tour championships right. except in major championships now his first pga tour champions major was in 2007 from then to now he's played 63 he's never missed a mm. cut but more than that he's only twice finished worse than 25th so uh, as remarkable as he is uh, we can't say enough about his consistency, and, and yes, before uh, he's done, uh, it would surprise nobody if, if he became the oldest person to win. Um, but getting to Hale Irwin, that's four. That's yeah. four away. At some point, you'd think the door would close. Um, but he's still the best ball striker on the Champions Tour. He's the best putter, and... He leads the scoring average, and that's why he leads the money list. Well, it, fascinating, Brandon. You, you get uh, to a certain age, and, and you've achieved, you know, certainly in his realm, all that you can achieve. He's in the World Golf Hall of Fame. You take your foot off the gas pedal. You relax. You enjoy your life, the grandkids, and all of that. He has this everyday ethic. It, it's who he is. Mm -hmm. It is the way he's, to your point, has always done it. And he, and he doesn't relent from that. Yeah, well, the aches and pains sooner or later won't let you do the things that you need to yeah. do to maintain the golf that you would like to maintain. But he is relentless about his diet. He is relentless about stretching. He stretches twice a day when he's out there. Uh, who knows? He may do something else, you know, in the gym at his hotel. But I, when I've been out there, I see him twice a day. Mm. And then he's very regimented about everything he does. And you know, the days are gone when guys drink very much, but guys would grab a beer and you look sure. over and he's got a coconut water. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, well, how are you going to beat a guy that's over there drinking a coconut water for crying out loud? He's the Tom Brady of the PGA Tour <laughs> champions. Now, he's not being chased by 25-year-old guys who are 6'5 and 295 pounds, but still uh, remarkable what he's doing. 2 o'clock Eastern, final round Sunday on Golf Channel.